Hi, how are you? Well, we are going to make some content that Fly Life magazine of the United States has requested, in which we are going to be cooperating and we are going to be contributing with some content. Stay tuned because we are going to upload videos in the magazine. A recurring question for those who are new to tube flies is how we put the hook on the tube. Any tube fly has on the back, although there are some that do not. But we are going to leave it for some special content. What is called a hook retail. Which is a small soft silicone tube. Or in some cases the plastic tube itself that has a suitable diameter. Although it is rigid allows the hook to be inserted in there, it can be both. The advantage of the tubes is that we can change the hooks, sizes, and types. We can put simple hooks of the size that we want, double hooks of the size that we want, and in the case that it is allowed by regulation, we can also use treble hooks, all in the same fly, so we have a great range of hook use. Regardless of whether the hook is ruined or dull or straightened, we can change it without losing the fly. But we can also adapt the fly to different fishing situations or different environments, which is a great advantage. Now what we are going to do is show something very easy. How do we put the hook on a tube fly? We take the tip of the leader. The tip of the leader is passed through the front of the tube to the back and in this part. We grab the hook that we want and we make a normal knot. The knot that we use to tie our fly is exactly the same as the knot that we can make here. I am making a clinch knot here to do it at faster. But we can use the knot we want, no problem. Once this is like this, we slide the tippet and the knot with part of the hook enters the tube or retail hook that we have used, and there we have the tube fly ready. In the case of wanting to put a double hook, we can do it. Something interesting in the tubes, I am going to do it so that you can also see it is, in the case of using double hooks, which is highly recommended. We are going to make the little knot, an example knot, and here we are going to show something about the hook. Something very important, note that the eye of the hook does not protrude so much, it is an eye called needle eye. Note how it is an eye that is much less bulky and that allows it to enter into smaller diameter tubes more easily. The advantage that we have with respect to tubes and hooks of this style is that we can put the hook down in the traditional way. And in the case that we have flies like this one that has a well-marked weight and is the weight of the fly which for me determines the balance of the fly in swimming. I can invert the hook in such a way that the wing is positioned in the middle and the hook remain in that way. So what this allows me is that the, the fly goes very close to the bottom and don't get stuck, beyond the fact that it can also hide the hook from the fish since it is covered by the wing. Well, I hope this was useful. Use them more. Use the tube flies. They are very, very convenient. They are highly recommended and they fish really well. You have to be encouraged and also keep in mind that we can tie a wide variety of flies on tube hooks. We can tie imitations of small crabs. 
we can tie huge attractors that allow us to work with very small hooks, something that sometimes is not possible with attractors. We can tie dry flies and we can also tie a wide variety of nymphs. Take tubes into account for your fishing. Incorporate them. Learn to tie them. And you will see that they have truly unique potential.